what is up Capricorn? Welcome to your general timeless reading. Let's get into it. You guys know the deal. If you want a personal reading or a Reiki session, you can go ahead and book it down below through my website in the description box. Also check out Patreon if you want access to the monthly readings, energy shift readings, moon cycle readings, and weekly Patreon only videos. Hit that notification bell so you can see when I post and when I go live and hit that like button. It helps the channel grow and I greatly appreciate it. Let's get into it, Capricorn. Let's use, um, yeah, actually let's use Terra Illuminati. I wasn't gonna use this, but yeah. Let's use Terra Illuminati. I'm still fiddling with my lighting. I kind of reset my ring light and Sorry if I look like super white right now. I think it's just because of my ring light, honestly. Yeah. Mm, don't know what to tell you. Couldn't get my lighting back right. And I just kind of wanted to record these videos. So, actually, that kind of looks about right. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's a little better. That's a little bit more normal. There we go. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Show me what I most need to see for Capricorn. Um, I started solitary confinement. <laughs> Capricorn, I feel like you're doing this like voluntarily. Like everybody, leave me alone. <laughs> Just um, don't come near me. <laughs> leave me alone. Ooh. Literally, your first two cards that are face up are the four swords in reverse and the two of swords. Just, um, I don't want to see you. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to be near you. Leave me alone. Everybody just go away. <laughs> go away. Then we have three of cups in reverse and the queen of cups in reverse. This feels like an, um, like just literally shutting everybody out. Queen of cups in reverse is kind of like the emotional shutdown, like even intuitively, like just energetically turned off. Three of Cups in reverse speaks to not being very content, not being very happy, but I feel like this is actually pushing away soul tribes, like friends and family, like just kind of wanting to be alone right now. It feels more so like I just kind of want to be alone. I feel like your focus is just very internal, like just not necessarily on you because obviously that's it's very evident like you just you want to be alone it's obviously the focus is going to be on you but it feels like it's more so on projects or work or just like your own goals yeah page of wands the page of wands is what you want to create what you want to build what you are passionate about yeah it's a project it's definitely a project some of you it's quite literally your sole purpose and I don't say those things lightly because you guys know if you've been watching me for a, a while, it's not like I'm not one of those readers that's like, oh my gosh, this is about your soul purpose and like your divinity and your angels and guides. Like, yeah, I talk about that stuff, of course, but it's not going to be every single reading because we still have a human experience to exist in here. Okay, I love you. Anyway, uh, Seven of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, you're, you're kind of like wiping away all the BS. You're over the BS, you're over the facade. Yeah, you're... <sighs> Capricorn, what the fuck is going on right now? What is going on right now? What is happening? This is a lot. I'm not gonna clarify all of it, because quite honestly, don't really have to. But, um, you're going through it. In a really good way though, like in a really good way. We need, we need sip the tea. Okay, continue. Let's just, let me spell this out for you. Dear universe, I need to isolate myself right now. I just don't have the patience or the mental capacity to handle anybody but myself. Emotionally, I'm a little burnt out because I have my own things going on. Like all the things I want to create. Like myself, I want to recreate myself. I want to become brand new again. I want to become fun and lighthearted and experience life the way I want to because I realize that because of my past, I created a lot of self-sabotaging behaviors and a lot of limiting beliefs that made me really want to run away from a lot of opportunities and I'm, I'm ready to stop doing that, okay? Five of Pentacles. I'm dropping the scarcity mindset, the limiting beliefs, all the fears, all the self-sabotaging behaviors, all of it because it's all rooted in the past. Boom. Done with that. Makes, a lot, makes so much sense though because I'm pretty sure that Pluto is in Capricorn right now, which is death. 
rebirth and transformation. And your next card is quite literally death. Um, hold on, let me check it out. Let me check it out. Pretty sure it is right now. Pretty freaking sure. Let me see where it is. Okay, where are you, planet? Aspects, zodiac. Capricorn, Pluto, yep, told you. Is that 24 degrees in Pluto right now? Yep. I'll look later. Okay. So, check out what house that is for you, and you will then know how it's affecting your chart. So, for example, like at 24 degrees in Capricorn, for me, that is my... It's my Ascendant 1. <laughs> yeah, literally my Ascendant starts at 23.5 degrees. So, that is in... Um, my first house. Yep. It's in my first house. My sign of self. My house of self. I mean, self appearance, beginnings, the body, first impressions, attitude, identity, approach to life. Welcome to the party. I have Capricorn in a lot of other places too, though, but just letting you know. Okay, and then the next card is the Knight of Wands in reverse. You're switching shit up real quick. Okay, with the Knight of Wands in reverse, this is kind of like, the reason why I'm cutting these people out right now and I'm just kind of pushing everybody away is because I need, I need to think of a plan here. I need to execute things a little differently. And that means that, you know, I'm not gonna tell any of you what I'm doing. I'm just kind of gonna go within and then I'm gonna execute. And that means there's gonna be a really big pivot and I'm just gonna drop all of it. I'm gonna drop everything. I'm just gonna kind of surrender and I'm gonna go with the flow because I want to. Capricorn, I'm really digging this. I'm digging this. And I'm excited because it kind of makes sense, but at the same time, I'm, I feel it. I feel it too. I'm vibing with it. I feel you. Let's use um, Tap 2 Tarot. I don't use this deck often. Why? I don't know, but I'm trying to use it more. Yeah. It's a nice deck. It's pretty. It's very pretty. And for those of you who are into tarot decks, you want to know who I just found out is starting to sell tarot decks? TJ Maxx. Check it out. Yeah, I found some Oracle decks there the other day. And they're like $10 cheaper than what they would be on like Amazon or um, online. So I would go to TJ Maxx if you have one by you. So let's see, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on. Oh my gosh, my crown and my third eye just like really blasted way more open than they have been. Um... Yeah, I literally heard flying solo. You are, it's not that you're so dumb with people, but it feels like you're just like, if you've been struggling with codependency or if you've been very like mommy or like very nurturing to people because of just just other aspects of your personality, you're done with that shit. You're kind of like, nah, it's cool. Like I still love you, I still support you, but like I'm a priority too. I'm, I'm taking care of my shit right now. This is very Aries full moon, very Aries full moon vibes. Today's the Aries full moon, by the way. Let's look at the Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? For Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay, yeah. You got to a place where you realize, like, okay, I need to let go of all the things that are just making me really frustrated and really insecure that are really stopping me from stepping into my personal power, that are really stopping me from creating the life that I wanna create, that are making me feel like I don't have the strength, that I don't have the intuition, that I don't know what I want or what I feel or what I wanna build. I need to just stop this because this is all feminine energy. We manifest from our thought of feminine energy, right? Thought is feminine energy, taking action and building. So like me actually creating this video, doing the physical, tangible 3D act of tarot right now is masculine energy but me thinking about oh the other creative things i want to do that's feminine energy that's manifestation okay acting on it is masculine so you have a lot of feminine right now it's actually creating thought which is why you're going within to pull away it's kind of like to recoup your energy so you can actually create these plans let's look at the two of swords this is the stagnancy this is what's kept you stuck eight of wands You've been going in a hundred different directions, <laughs> but it's not for yourself. You've been going all over for everybody else, but not Capricorn. And that's why you're cutting other people out. You're like, your energy is too dispersed. 
That's what's happening. You're, you're too much all over for everybody else. Eight of wands. If you are these eight wands, those are all the other directions you've been going in, but none of them are home to you. You're forgetting the center of self. So let's look at this four of swords. I'd highly recommend getting some citrine or carnaline for your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. Yep, fool. Very nice. Nice. I love this. I love this. I feel the need to tell you that's Aquarius energy. Um, I typically don't always say the signs, but for some reason I feel the need to tell you that's Aquarius and Uranus energy. Uranus is very sudden. Oh, okay. So Uranus, the sudden shifts. Uh, Uranus is tower moments. It's revel. It's revolution. Um, it's... Um, it's also, why do I want to say rebellion? Um, this is kind of, <laughs> this is kind of like, I'll, I'll face my fears. Like I really don't give a crap right now. Like I'm just going to do what I need to do because I need to do it for me. You're very much so taking care of self. This feels really, really nice. It does not feel selfish. It doesn't feel like you're pushing people away either. It's just kind of like you're saying to people, like if they're asking you for things, you're like, Actually, I, I can't do it that day. I'm actually busy that day, and I'm sorry, but I wish you the best, and I'll see you maybe next time we can make plans. It's, you're not being rude. You're not being disrespectful. You're just honoring self. You're setting very healthy boundaries to achieve the things that you want to achieve. This is great. Let's look at this Three of Cups. Four Swords. Yeah. Yeah. You're, again, just to reiterate, you're getting rid of, not getting rid of, but isolating yourself from social groups, family, friends, coworkers. Um, I would, if you're in a romantic relationship, I just think that you're just taking more time to really focus on your own goals and endeavors because four of swords is a card of isolation. It's a card of meditation. It's a card of just deep focus on the internal. It's basically the mini hermit in tarot. Let's look at the queen of cups though, because this is your emotional state. This is also in your intuition for me as a reader. It's cancer energy, which is very intuitive. I feel like this is a struggle in the divine feminine that you're having though. Come on card, come here. Okay, three of cups and the seven of swords. Yeah, so you were giving to your detriment to social groups and just other energies and people around you. The three of cups speaks to soul tribe. So all your close connections, the seven of cups, this tells me that you are self-sabotaging. Self-sabotaging because you were just giving so much of yourself that you had nothing left to give to you energetically depleted okay and that's why you're you're cutting them out right now you're like i got nothing else to give you right now so i'm sorry but my cup has to be be filled for me right now let's look at this page of wands i don't feel like this is going to be causing fights or anything though to be honest with you Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups and the Lovers. I really like this. You're making the decision to love yourself first. The Lovers is about decisions. It's not just about so many connections and things like that. When I say love yourself first, it's because the Queen of Cups is upright. It's not because of the Lovers. Just to make that clear for those of you who don't read tarot yourselves or are trying to learn how to read tarot, right? The Lovers is also the card of decisions. It's about choices, okay? Um... The Queen of Cups is a card of intuition. It's a card of care. It's a card of nurturing, not just of other people, but of self. So here you are making the decision to give this love that you've been giving to other people to yourself. And that's why you're stepping back into your most authentic self. The Page of Wands is the authentic self, whereas the Devil is the card of the ego and tarot. You're stepping back into the Page of Wands energy, the inner child card, the authentic self card, your soul card, your intuition card, because you're aligning with the things that give you your personal power back. The Page of Wands is also indicative of the, of the sacral chakra, which is soul power, right? Creativity. So you're learning how to create the things that pique your intuition, that pique your emotions, emotional satisfaction. You're making these choices for yourself, which in turn are helping you release the past self-sabotaging behaviors. Very nice. So let's look at the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Justice in reverse. Yeah, imbalance. You the What was self-sabotaging? Because remember, the Seven of Swords was on this Three of Cups self-sabotaging. It's self-sabotaging in reverse. When it's upright, other people are sabotaging to you. That's just for me as a reader, okay? That's what was self-sabotaging was the imbalance, giving to your detriment, giving so much energy to what's around you that you didn't have any energy to give to yourself, the imbalance. Let's look at the six of cups, these soulmate connections, the imbalance of them. 
Three of Swords. That's what had to be healed. That imbalance. It's nurturing your own heart space, nurturing yourself, practicing self care, going into the self care mode. Five of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Okay, that's actually interesting to have a Ten of Swords in reverse on it because it tells me that you haven't actually completed the full Ten of Swords yet. Nine of Cups in reverse in judgment. You're struggling to define what is actually going to bring you joy and happiness right now because a lot of that was actually defined by the people in your life. You're trying to figure out what's going to bring you joy and happiness as an individual, right? So what hobbies you enjoy. And because there's there's How do I describe this? Your work is a part of you. The sports you play are a part of you. The hobbies you enjoy are a part of you. The food you like are a part of you. All those parts make up the things that bring you that happiness. You need to make sure that you're bringing yourself the whole picture of that happiness. So walking outside is a part of my happiness. Playing with my dog is a part of my happiness. These relationships are also a part of your happiness. And that's why leaving them behind, abandoning in a sense, these connections is giving you this 10 of swords energy because it's, it's, it's a struggle between what your true contentment and happiness is. You need to figure out what the other parts of your happiness are right now though. Is, are you neglecting the part of your happiness that is your work? your passions, your writing, your singing, your dancing, your exercising, playing with your pets or hanging out with your friends, your girlfriends, your guy friends, your dogs, your cats, you know, your birds, your ferret, your freaking mouse. I don't know, you know, like just spending time with your body. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean, okay? There's things that you have to do as a human to connect with yourself on a soul level. You have to nurture your soul, you as a human being. We don't solely thrive on just our connections with other people. You need to thrive on that connection you have with yourself. It's time to build that connection you have with yourself. Okay. Continue. On to death. <laughs> the happy card. <laughs> Let's look at death. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, second chances. I like this. I just heard hostility. Um, we have the Page of Cups in reverse in the world. Okay, so arguments might come up because of the lack of discussion as to why you're ghosting or not communicating with these people. There needs to be an honest Page of Cups, right? honest disclosure as to why you're walking away right the world closing out the cycle there needs to be an honest discussion you need to learn to be vulnerable because these connections that you're walking away from this self-sabotaging this giving 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 is also rooted in a part of you that is giving 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 because you want that to be given back to you that over nurturing is rooted in a, in a portion of codependency, right? We give, 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 give like that because we want that to be given back to us, okay? That's an aspect of the shadow that has to be recognized. That's what has to end here. You're not being honest with yourself as to why you create foundations that are not stable and ace of pentacles in reverse. You need to be honest with yourself where that unstable emotional state is coming from and why it needs to end and communicate that to people. like. I want to be nurtured like this. Like I want my friends and family. If I tell you I love you, like I want to be, I want to hear it back. And I'm not just saying it to hear it back though, right? You need, you need to recognize that. Are you just saying it to hear it back or are you not? Okay. It's being honest with yourself about those things. There's a lot going on in this reading. Let's look at this Knight of Wands. Let's see the new direction you're heading in. I want to get one more on death, actually. I want to see what's coming after. Yeah, there we go. The Magician. Yeah, you're going to step into your personal power because you're going to learn how to... Um, it's not... Well, articulate. It is mercurial. It's Gemini Virgo, so it does have to do with communication, perspective, and intellect. But it, you're learning how to articulate the things that you need to create solid connections, foundations, not only within yourself and how you perceive and think about yourself, but with other people, too. So very healthy. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. 
this new direction you're heading in. Beautiful. I love it. Two of Cups. So you will come together with these soul connections. They're going to be much more balanced. Three of Wands. It might be a little, I'm not going to say delayed, but it's just going to take some more time because nothing on your path is really ever going to be delayed. It's all going to happen in divine right time for you. But it's going to vary person to person depending on how much time you spend doing this healing and integration of your shadow for yourself because you need clarity on the confusion that is your path right where you want to go and that's going to vary for everybody because between the three and the two of wands is the ace of wands this new soul path it's because you're having trouble taking the steps to create it in the masculine to bring it into the tangible you go to this thinking 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 about it but then it's time to execute it and that's why it's delayed but really it's just slowing down okay capricorn that's what i have for you i hope you guys really enjoyed this reading if you want a personal reading or a reiki session go ahead book it down below through my website please like share subscribe to my channel i'd greatly appreciate it and i'll see you next time